Hey guys, this is Eckhart from the Adrenal Store in Melbourne. Uh, I'm just going to show you today how to load a spear gun. So, if you have a short spear gun, um, like this gun here, it's a one meter gun, you might be able to actually put the spear gun on your chest and grab the rubbers. If a spear gun is too long to load, um, I'll show you a technique for that uh, in a second. But the best advice I've got for you in terms of loading is to load it with your palms facing downwards. So grab the rubbers in a way that you're not going to readjust your hand. Uh, so you don't want to grab it there on the Dyneema. I don't know if you can see that there. You don't want your hand on the Dyneema. You want your hand on the rubber itself. And then you want to have the spear gun on to your chest. Now most of your uh, spear fishing wetsuits will have a loading pad on your chest which will protect your chest. What you want to do then is use your other hand, grab the rubber on the other side so you can see there. Both my hands uh, are on each side of the rubber um, and I can now just pull down. The reason why we recommend uh, using uh, your palms down is that the palms upward motion, you have a lot of uh, power in the first part of your pull, but the second part you don't have a great deal of power to get your hands quite close to your chest. So with uh, spear guns that have got a reverse mix where you've got to get the, <coughs> got to get the Dyneema right to the back notch, uh, it can be pretty hard to load it that way. If your spear gun is too long, uh, this is a 1.2 meter gun, I have it on my chest, there is no way I'm going to reach those rubbers, I don't know if you can see there. What you want to do is, with a flat palm, put your hand on the handle like this. You want to grab the rubbers. Now with a double rubber like this, what we're going to do is, we're going to load the top rubber first. I'm going to pop that just underneath the bottom rubber, like that. And we're going to do the exact same, open palm, hand on the rubber, and I'm going to push with this hand and pull with the hand that's on the rubber. I'm going to slide it onto my chest, I'll do it on my, to my stomach because I don't want to hurt myself. Grab the rubber and then pull up and load. Now the reason why we're loading this top rubber first, that will go to your first notch. Your bottom rubber will be loaded to the bottom notch. And what you'll have then is a nice smooth, the rubbers will lay right on top of each other and you won't get a crisscross effect, which can um, impact your accuracy. When you are loading your first or possibly even your second gun in your spear gun, again, like I suggest, uh, use your open palm. Be careful of uh, your finger getting anywhere near your trigger mech, um, as this can actually uh, set off the trigger. If you, if you touch that trigger while you're trying to load up, and if there's anybody nearby and your spear gun's pointing at them, obviously it's, it's a pretty dangerous situation to be in. So make sure that you're, you've got an open palm when you're loading your spear gun um, and that there's nothing that can actually slip and uh, go into your trigger mech and possibly pull the trigger.